What's up guys, Shock here, and I got you an M16 Moab on Interchange. This is a Moab that was actually not that hard to get, because this is my recommended class setup with this gun. Um, this is the second episode of my series, Mob with Every Gold Gun, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so first things first, um, I have a new layout on this video, if you didn't notice. like the, I don't know what, I think this is called Layout. Um, the thing on the left, the three things are my perks that I use on my class in general, Scavenger, Hardline Stalker, and the bottom is the actual um, guns, attachments, lethal, tactical, and secondary. Right, going from bottom to top, is my specialist kill streaks. Slate of hand, recon, and then marksman. You can tell in the video as they match up. Uh, yep. So this gun, the M16, is not a very good gun. It is a gun that <laughs> is not recommended by me to use, and I only recommend using it if you really want to get a cool Moab. Because when you get an M16 mob, at least for me, I find it more achieving than a lot of guns. I feel like you're doing a lot, so you're doing something more than other guns, like with like an ACR or whatnot. But this gun is not good. It is not a good gun at all. I do not like whatever you do with this gun is try to stay away from people like that. That guy's just bad. I'm lucky that he did not kill me. He should have killed me. I should have paid more attention and known he was coming, and then probably killed him and not have to get a lucky kill right there. This is a really kind of campy mod because this gun is not meant for rushing by any means. If when I use this gun, I have feel like I have to play back. Other people might have more luck with it than I do, but when I rush with this gun, the amount of hit markers on one burst and even two bursts are just, like, it's not really worth it to me. I just get so frustrated with it and I get really annoyed and I don't have fun with it. So, I recommend just playing defensively and trying to just do whatever you can to get them to come after you. And if you need to get to a better choke points, like the one that I was holding down for the most of this video. You can see I do go or do a couple laps around this little area right here a couple times in the video. But that's just so that I can... Oh my god, wait. Quad feed! Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. But I do do a couple laps around this area right here. To make it so that I don't just sit on this one, like, Humvee, Humvee whatever the fuck it's called. And just, like, wait for them to come from both ways. But, this is a really good map for this gun, as this map does offer a lot of long-range situations, especially in Kill Confirmed, for games where there's no real objective, like TDM, Kill Confirmed, basically those two, and even, I guess, Team Defender might work, I don't know, I don't play it enough. But, this gun is not good at all, and that's all I can say. If I do sound tired at all, it's because, from Friday morning, I woke up at 6.30, it is... Sunday night at 7 p.m. and there's the Moab but I slept this morning from 5.30 till 11 so six hours after staying up for 47 hours straight so if I do sound tired I do apologize but I had people over my house all weekend and that's why I did not make this video earlier but I did make this cool layout for you as a bonus if you did enjoy the video please click that please click like as always and if you haven't yet please hit subscribe it does mean a lot to me and yeah, have a nice day. Peace out.